Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Retro Roulette, where I take a look at a random game I know little or nothing about. It only took me a moment or two of browsing this time to stumble upon a title that demanded my immediate attention. Dino Wars Destruction of Spondylus just sounds too awesome to ignore. Ignore it I shan't no longer because according to, and it's so awesome to have found this, on IMDB of all places, a user named Will sets the stage and gives us their thoughts. Infected with a virus, Robosaurs have overrun the planets in the Spondylus system. There is only one hope. Cyborosaurus must be released. The Dino Wars must begin. And then goes on to say, Dino Wars is by far the greatest game ever created. Damn, those are some heavy words. Unfortunately, the hopes Will may have had for any sequels were surely dashed as Nintendo Power Magazine only rated it a 6.5 out of 10 for the reasons of bad gameplay, bad graphics, and bugs. Now, Will's passion makes me think, Maybe this game has a lot of heart, but just failed in execution, resulting in a lukewarm reception. Unlike another giant dinosaur-themed game which lacked both heart and execution. Well, we're about to find out, and I'm eager because this music sounds dope, the title is totally rad, and who doesn't like riding around in a big mech dinosaur on a warpath? Will it be good? Let's get into it. Alright, so here we are. This is Dino Wars Destruction of Spondylus. And, uh, you know, right away, that's a pretty cool little logo. I like how the uh, landscape is visible through the font type, and uh, pretty cool also how they put a couple of dinosaurs in there. You know, I've seen a lot of title screens that have sucked. This one's actually pretty good, so uh, let's push start and get into it, see what this game's all about. Okay, so it just drops us off right into the game. I was kind of expecting a little story or cinematic or something like that. Okay, so... That's our shoot. That's our shot. Oh, it's one of those things where, like, you gotta wait till the bullets are off the screen to fire again. But, you know, I guess maybe that'll work. You know, jumping's a little delayed, but... You know, I think we can work with it. Let's see. Oh, no! We, we can't work with it, that's not good. Is that a power-up? No, that's a landmine, I should have known that. You know, if all my years of gaming has taught me something, if something's attached to the ground, don't touch it. Hmm, do I sacrifice? No, oh, I guess I have no choice there. <laughs> oh, is that a dinosaur? That looks so cool. <laughs> nice! I'm digging it. And there we are! <laughs> Look at that little punch! <laughs> That's pretty damn funny, actually. Hey, look at those little jumping dinosaurs. Now, are they are they real, uh, real size and we're just a giant? Because, you know, Stegosaurus, I think, was pretty big, right? Oh yeah, you get to just walk across the spikes just fine, but when I try it, I'm screwed. Fireballs. Oh my god. That is the rinkiest, dinkiest little pixel of a fireball I think I've ever seen. I think it's a pixel, if I had to guess. Is that a Triceratops with a rocket launcher on its back? Oh! Yeah, with that delay, it makes every jump feel, feel a little harrowing. But you know what? So far, the control in this game feels pretty good. You know, it's like there are so many problems with Nintendo games and their control. Uh, what are you gonna be, a pipe? Oh, jeez, it's one of those freaking items that always arcs. This is like Friday the 13th all over again. I should have stuck with my fireballs. Is that dinosaur wearing a toupee? Well, that's a cool shot, but no music, no story. I mean, <laughs> I kind of wish they'd given a little more effort there. Just a matter of catching them. Ah, uh, that that P probably could have helped. Thank God there's no knockback on these uh, on these platforms. You know, let's just keep going. Oh man, I almost got knocked over. There. And we're fighting the last boss of Contra, apparently. Oh jeez, I'm getting. I thought this would be a good vantage point, but that slow jump makes it... 
difficult. <laughs> we get in the, do we get in the chamber now or something? Okay, I don't know what to do. Do we make our way back? And back into our little dinosaur pal. What am I supposed to do here? Just teleporter? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> hey, we get a password, and I guess that's the first level. First level done, very cool. Uh, and just, I'm reminded that I'm stuck with this crappy-ass item. Oh my gosh. I don't know, what the hell? What the hell's going on? Well, doesn't matter, because we killed him anyway. Oh, when did I get, when did I get the fireballs again? See, that's another thing I do. I don't like games where the item gets dropped on the floor and, you know, you might not be able to notice it or something like that and just select it. You know what? I'm liking these. Is that fireballs or is that fist? I think that's fist. I'm going to skip it. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to tank the damage. Ugh, jump over that thing. You mad big jump. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Let's keep going. You know, I don't know about this game being the greatest ever made, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> so like I was saying, when a, when a game just gives you like some good, simple tools to work with, it can be a lot of fun. I'm surprised I've never actually played this game before. I mean, like I said, that title for me as a kid would have captivated my attention. How many hits is it gonna take? No, we're not getting the pipe. What are you? Ah. ah, beam. That's cool. But just like everything, I guess, like, until you upgrade it, you can only fire one shot at a time. It's kind of cool that it goes through things. You know what? Let's rock with this for a little bit. Oy. I don't like having to avoid items. We've got something, and we go in something else again. There's our dinosaur again. Yeah, I feel like they could have put a little music or something there. Uh, so another Contra boss. Is this gonna be, like, the... the theme? It's just a couple of levels and then the end boss from Contra over and over? Ah, that wasn't good. Gives us our... I like that the password is only four numbers. <laughs> That's really good. There are some Nintendo games where the password is just like, come on, are you fucking kidding me? What is this, like? All right, so we can just hit continue right from where we left off. That's pretty cool. Oh, knockback in the air. That's not fun. We don't have knockback on the ground, but I guess we have knockback in the air because that just pushed me right into the hole. Nope. Really? You saw me, right? You saw me, I landed here, and I still collected it? Not fun. Did you see it just go through the platform like that? Like, I had all my hopes on the fact that it would land on there and I'd be able to collect it at some point, but... Nope. Okay, and then we head back. Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> so we continue, we gotta continue there. Alright, well, you know what, I mean, I think that's about where I'm gonna wrap it up with Dino Wars. I don't necessarily agree with Will that it's the best game ever created by far. I mean, I knew that was kind of a, a passion-filled statement rather than a fact-filled one. But Dino Wars is kind of a lot of fun. Um, I could see myself playing this again, especially with the... A quick turnaround from when you die to the game over screen to uh, getting right back into the action. Short little password. Short little levels. I mean, like, it's, uh, it's like, I don't know, like a rapid succession of little tests that's kind of fun to get around. So, I don't know, if you've never played Dino Wars and you like side-scrolling platformer games on the Nintendo, I would say give it a try because it's uh, pretty damn fun. Although, you know, a little bit monotonous. And if you like Contra, there's a, a cameo. So, yeah, that's it for me for right now. I'm probably going to play this game for a little while longer because I'm enjoying it. 
and uh, I'll see you all on the next episode of Retro Roulette. Peace out.